Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Ites Dolakia, is going to explain you Poisson's and Laplace equation in this session. So first, I'll derive Poisson's and Laplace equation over here. After that, I'll explain what is the significance of these two equations and what is the physical understanding which we can use it in applications. So let us derive this Poisson's and Laplacean equation and these two scientists Poisson's and Laplace they have done excellent work in electromagnetics and that leads to electromagnetics understanding and which is even useful to understand Maxwell's equation. So two scientists Poisons, so full form, full name of Poisons, that is Simeon Danis Poison and Laplace, that is Perry Simon Laplace. So both of the scientists have done very good work and let us derive this equation first and then I'll explain how we can use that. So see, as we have established relation in between electric field and potential, right? So we know electric field that is negative of gradient of potential. So let me write it over here. So that is E is equals to minus del V. So meaning of this equation is electric field is equals to negative of gradient of potential. So let us say this is equation one. And we already know Gauss law for electric field. So if I write point form of Gauss law for electric field, which I have already derived, that is even Maxwell's first differential form. So I have already derived it. You can see that my in previous session. So as per Gauss law for electric field, we can say del dot E that is equals to rho V by epsilon zero. del dot e that is equals to rho v by epsilon zero. So let us say this is equation number two. So now if I apply this electric field in this formula, then we can be able to derive Poisson's equation, right? So let us apply it. Now see del dot E. So E is what? E is negative of gradient of potential. So I'm just writing it over here minus del V. So del dot minus del V that is equals to rho V by epsilon zero. Now if you further simplify this, then see this negative sign that will come outside. You just take it over this side. So this will be del dot del V is equals to minus rho V by epsilon zero. Now see, this is what del dot del V, right? So one can say this is del square and del square is even represented as a Laplacian operator. So if I say, see, this is what del dot del V, right? So del dot del that is del square, which is even referred as Laplacian operator. So this is del square and we can say this is V is equals to minus rho V by epsilon zero. So here this del square. So that is even referred as Laplacian operator. So in so many books, you might have seen they are, they are saying like, see, this is what Laplacian of V is equals to minus rho V by epsilon zero. And this equation that is even referred as Poisson's equation. So this equation, if I say this is equation A, so equation A that is even referred as Poisson's equations. Now, what about Laplacian equation? So see, for Laplacian equation, if you observe this equation, del square V is equals to minus rho V by epsilon zero. But for example, if I consider any enclosed surface and that enclosed surface does not have any volume charge. 
So if I say I have one enclosed surface that one can see, we have one enclosed surface, right? Now, if this enclosed surface does not have any volume charge, so we can say rho v is equals to zero. So in that case, in that case, this equation that will get translated into del square v that is equals to zero, and this equation that is referred as Laplacian equation. So equation B that is referred as Laplacian equation. Now there might be some question like what is the use of these two equation, right? So first of all we should know how that equation has been derived. So del square V is equals to minus rho V by epsilon zero and del square v that is equals to 0. So del square v is equals to minus rho v by epsilon 0 that is Poisson's equation and del square v that is equals to 0 that is Laplacian equation. For Laplacian equation condition is enclosed surface should not have any volume charge. So rho v is equals to 0. So if you substitute that in Poisson's equation you will be getting Laplacian equation. Right. Now what are the significance of these equations. So see if you want to calculate potential or electric field or capacitance then by using this Laplacian equation we can be able to solve this and for that you just need to have a calculation like see if you have del square v is equals to 0 for any physical condition like you have been given with uh, you have been given with any structure so if I give you one structure, I'm not going to derive, but I'll show you like how we can apply that. So if I give you one structure like this, right, let us say this structure and in this structure, if I say inner sphere that is having potential V0 that is equals to zero, let us say this is radius A and let us say this is radius B and if I say outer sphere that is having voltage V. So if you observe this entire structure, inside of this structure, there is no volume charge, right? As voltage on this surface is zero, so obviously it indicates there is no volume charge and I have not drawn any volume charge inside even. So if you solve this del square V is equals to zero for this, you'll be getting voltage equation. So based on that, you can have voltage is equals to something, right? And once you have voltage is equals to something, we can have calculation of electric field and that electric field that we can calculate as per minus gradient of V and capacitance that even we can calculate as per C is equals to Q by V as we have this solution based on this Laplacian operator. So for a calculation of potential, for a calculation of electric field and for a calculation of capacitance of any structure which is not enclosed by volume charge density, we can be able to calculate capacitance, electric field and voltage by using Laplace equation. Now one more thing that we need to understand, like see for example, if you apply boundary conditions, so if you have a structure, right, like I'm just considering one metallic tiffin. So just consider one metallic tiffin right and see as this is metallic tiffin as this is metallic tiffin and if i met if i uh, ground this metallic tiffin so i'm just grounding it right now see what is the meaning of it if you ground this metallic tiffin then on the surface of this metallic tiffin you'll be finding potential will be zero so as potential of this surface is zero for this enclosed surface, if you see inside of this metallic tiffin, then no electric field can enter inside. So even if electric field that is coming like this, you'll be finding this electric field 
inside that will be zero so one experiment that one can do over here if you keep your mobile inside uh, metallic tiffin and if your metallic tiffin that is grounded in that case that mobile cannot receive signal inside of metallic box so this is what applicable in so many applications like uh, antenna measurement chamber that when that antenna measurement chamber that is been used to have a measurement of antenna so at that time this application is getting utilized where outer signal should not enter inside of chamber so this application is very useful so it will make practical situations for measurement of devices even there are so many other applications even so if you observe this poisons equation so this poisons equation that even in that even explains you gauss law itself like see for example if no volume charge enclosed by surface right if no volume charge enclosed by surface then del square v is equals to zero and in that case laplacian equation will come and based on that we can say there is only one solution that is there on the surface so on the surface there is only one solution so what it indicates on the surface potential will be unique and that even explained by uniqueness theorem but that is a part of uh, that del square v is equals to minus rho v by zero rho v by epsilon zero so there are so many applications you'll be finding in electromagnetics in microwave engineering in antenna and wave propagation as well as in radio frequency circuit design these are the applications which is used so that is coming based on poisons and laplacian equation i hope that you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video please do give your valuable suggestion definitely based on your suggestions we i will be providing more video lectures and that will definitely solve some issues regarding your engineering understanding thank you so much for watching this video